And my name's Simon Woolley and I am 52, 53 this year. My first job was as an apprentice car mechanic and I was 16. It's a three year apprenticeship in Leicester. I love cars. I love cars so I love my apprenticeship. I, I uh, you know, was taking these cars to pieces, putting them back together, making them drive faster. But in the end, I didn't like getting dirty. So I finished the apprenticeship and, and gave up being a car mechanic. And now look, nice clean nails. I'm the director of an organization called Operation Black Vote. Uh, I set up this organization with a few others in 1995. So nearly 20 years, nearly 20 years in the same job, although Although in the first four or five years, we were not getting paid for it. We did it because we loved it, because we cared about it. Uh, but 20 years, same work. Operation Black Vote's an organization that seeks to encourage and inspire black and minority ethnic communities to, to change the world, to change their world, to be the best we can be, but by using the political tool. So politics is the vehicle for changing the world. Operation Black Vote targets all black and minority ethnic communities. Our most difficult uh, sector to, to target are young people. And our most successful is really over 50s because we, it, we have that tradition of engagement. Our parents engage, so we engage. We recognize the value of that. Uh, and so often you'll see at meetings that you'll see a, an older population at civic engagement political meetings. But that said, there's a younger generation coming through. What we try and do is to twin the younger generation with the older generation so they can learn from how our parents and ourselves have done this. I would say the most rewarding part of my job is after encouraging and inspiring young people and older people to do the best they can be, for them to come back in, in a year's or two years time and say, because of you, I'm a counselor, I'm a magistrate, uh, I'm an MP, uh, I can change my world. It really doesn't get better than that. When you've inspired, or well, you've helped inspire someone to, to be the best that they can be. I would say the most challenging part of my job today is this tide of anti-immigrant, anti-black, anti-Muslim sentiment that is pretty depressing. And we, I have to confront that uh, whilst also keeping communities uh, positive about the changes they can make. So right now there's a, there's a depressing uh, uh, change going on that makes my job challenging. But it also inspires me, fires me up to say they're not getting away with this. We, we have to win. It's too important for us to lose. You know, sometimes there is the prejudice, not just against people of color, but older people too. Uh, in, sometimes in subtle ways, uh, that people are uh, looking at you a little bit dismissive or the, that you know, you're past it. Um, but other times that, that there's a younger generation looking at older people thinking, well, they don't know. What do they know about my world? And, and actually, actually, I often find that, that we're more receptive, uh, more tolerant is not the right word, uh, but, uh, but we're more um, inclined to listen to the concerns of younger people. And so it's a challenge. But I think, I think that when you have that conversation, you can, you can overcome some of that age prejudice. I think when you start your business, when you're much younger, I, you feel you've got more energy. Uh, you feel anything's possible, but actually, that I'm working harder now. I'm working harder now. I, I think the energy levels are the same, um, if not even more greater. Because for me now, there's an urgency about what needs to be done, and uh, I guess that um, that, uh, that I'm less inclined to slack, whereas I might have been more inclined to be a slacker 
when I was 30 than when I than I'm now was 52. Oh, there's no doubt about it. I do more hours. I do more hours with work, uh, and also, you know, as a as a parent, that I feel I feel it's it's a wondrous joy. I'm a late parent, by the way. It's a wondrous joy, but um, it means that uh, there's a rarely enough time to do everything and I do a lot. I would say the labour market has changed with this level of insecurity. I mean, insecurity is so prevalent uh, amongst everybody. Uh, and I would say 10 years ago and 20 years ago, if you worked hard, if you had a good work ethic, that usually would be rewarded uh, with some level of security. Right now, that's gone out the window. And that's pretty dramatic because, because it's very difficult to do the right thing and get the rewards that you deserve. It's all insecure. People are anxious, uh, worried, and you know, that's the new default position. Uh, I think it's our generation, the generation of the new 50s, that have recognized we won't retire uh, for a number of reasons, financially, we don't have the option to retire. And secondly, we know that, I think, that at best, we, we may want to slow down. But the idea of stopping is not an option. And that's a good thing, because I think that we'll be older longer. Uh, it's a, ba a bad thing, maybe, because we don't have the, we feel we don't have the luxury to say, that's it, I can just, go and retire in the garden, we always feel this we've got something to do.